Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. If this is your very first time with us, welcome, and we are so happy to have you. And of course, if you could, hit that big red subscribe button, and don't forget, if you really enjoy this video, at the end, to give this video a nice big thumbs up. Now, today, we're gonna be looking at something that some people would say it's a little early to look at, but we're gonna look at all things fall, and all things Hobby Lobby, and of course, all things decoration-wise. So, before we get started, how about we get us a nice big cup of coffee? Welcome back. Now that I got my cup of coffee, which by the way, how perfect is this mug? Now this mug, specifically this one, I got it last year at the Spirits end of the year sale. So obviously I got it on sale. Don't remember the price, unfortunately, but I am a Hocus Pocus fan. Before September even gets here, which I hate to say this, but sometimes in July, I will start watching this movie and I will watch it and watch it and watch it over again. So obviously when I saw this cup, I had to have it. So just a little insight on the video today, we're gonna be looking at specifically all of the new 2020 Hobby Lobby fall decor that they have out. I looked at florals, I looked at signs, I looked at anything you can think of, even their plates and their cups, and I took videos and pictures of everything I personally felt like my friends and followers would love to see. Now, I'm also going to do a Hobby Lobby haul at the very end of this video, and let me tell you, I got some really good great stuff for a really good price because everything's 40% off. So if you would stick till the very end because I also have some surprise stuff that I bought that I felt was perfect for the season and I did not put them in my video for showing you what Hobby Lobby currently has. So without further ado, let's get started. How perfect are these flowers, you guys? They are just absolutely beautiful. I can think of a million DIYs that you can do with these flowers. You guys, I am not gonna lie to you. This picture right here is screaming everything fall to me because of my absolute favorite colors that are currently in this picture. This is a very beautiful wreath. However, you could DIY this if you didn't want to pay the price. I don't know what it is about this, but I think it's absolutely beautiful, which is why I took a picture. You guys, I love this garland. I think it's one of my favorites so far. How cute are these plates? They are so pretty. And I don't know about you guys, but I love putting ball plates out. Oh, hey, hey, mom and dad. I don't know what it is about these three signs, but I absolutely love them. They are very pretty. The next two signs that you are about to see are some of my favorite that I came across. I personally enjoy putting up signs every single year for the holiday season and I couldn't help but take pictures of both of these signs. I think they're absolutely beautiful and they would go perfect with any fall decor, even Christmas. 
here we are again with all the beautiful signs these are some of them are outdoor signs that me and my husband personally love to put out and we actually own several of them so from one pumpkin lover to another hopefully I adore these two pumpkin signs. I personally cannot wait to get my hands on one. And guys, let's be honest, it would not be a fall video if I did not give you a video of all things pumpkin. I love Hobby Lobby's pumpkins that they put out every year. They are absolutely beautiful. cute are those socks and how cute is that sign it would go perfect on a mantle okay guys welcome back how amazing is some of their decor that they put out this year I mean I don't know about you guys but that made me really excited for fall and personally I cannot wait to be able to get into this home and to decorate it which by the way there will be a video coming very shortly which will be a clean and decorate with me video and I cannot wait for you guys to see it so without further ado let's go on to well what I bought so I'm gonna start with specifically floral so bear with me a bit because I bought a couple of things Which, by the way, I have not taken out of the bags. <laughs> All right, starting with number one. Now, I bought two of these specifically, and before I move on to telling you about them, the prices of these are $9.99. So, specifically, these two things, I think what drew me to this is... When I decorate, I focus on all things yellow and orange and red and brown. That's what attracts me during the fall time. So of course, when you see my house in a couple of later videos, you're gonna see a lot of this, these specific colors because they're personally my favorite to look at in the fall and they're my favorite to decorate with. So I bought these two specifically together because I thought maybe they'd go really cute in a canister, which by the way, I found one, we'll get to that in just a moment. But these colors are very warm and they're inviting, but I'm the type of person who likes to change it up a little bit. So I decided to add something white into it, and not so much white, but maybe like white or off-white. So I had been looking at some really beautiful fall flowers, by the way, that they have over in Hobby Lobby, and they went really good with this, but obviously I came across some pumpkins. And as soon as I saw them, I had to have them. So let me show you. These pumpkins are beautiful. And personally, I think they go really well with this. So here's my plan. I'm gonna take this bouquet and I'm going to simply just put three, I only got three because I don't wanna overdo it. I'm gonna take three of these pumpkins and I'm gonna put them throughout the bouquet. So then I'm going to take this and stick it into a canister. So this is what I plan on doing with this specifically. I will most likely have a video showing you a couple of, DI not really DIY projects, but just fall projects of putting stuff together before I actually put it out. So keep an eye out for that video as well. But I love how this looks and I think it's going to be perfect. So moving on to what else I bought. And then I also bought this, let me start with this piece. I was walking across the um, way over in Hobby Lobby and I just happened to see this poking out and I obviously grabbed it because look at these colors, they're beautiful. Um, I have a bottle that I keep in my living room. It's a blue, it's a darkish blue bottle and it's pretty tall and like this 
long or this width and pretty tall and when I put stuff in it I like for it to stick out straight it looks really cute now when you're listening to it you're like okay that I don't know about that I don't know how that's gonna look but trust me it does actually look really good so I came across this and clearly I didn't want to do just this so I figured why not add this piece to it now this is beautiful I love the fact that it has all this dry corn husk in it and then it has the wheat as well and of course the dried up little pine cones and you got your little leaves going on in here. I personally love this. I think it's beautiful. Now this specific piece was $9.99. Again, everything's 40% off so I got this piece for 40% off. But I was planning on taking this and this and combining it together and incorporating it, obviously better than what I have here. And I also went and bought, cause I couldn't just stop there. I had to add more. I came across these really pretty pieces of wheat. I bought two of these, by the way. Um, personally, I think that they look very lifelike. Even up close, they look lifelike. Now the price, the full price for this is $3.99. So you can do the math and figure out what your 40% for, uh, off would be with, to that. But I was gonna also incorporate this in here a little bit just to break it up. Now I bought two of them, so clearly it's not gonna look like this, but working with it and moving things around, it'll look really pretty eventually. It just has to have a little bit of love put into it, if you know what I mean. So moving on from the florals sort of moving on from the florals. Um, my very first bouquet that I showed you with the white pumpkins, I needed a canister to put it in and I just came across something that was absolutely amazing and obviously I had to have it because I've been wanting one for years. Don't ask me why I have not bought one of these yet. I have no idea. But I have been looking for one of these for several years and don't get me wrong, I've come across several of them and they all look great. I just kept holding it off and I figured, you know what, this year's the year. I need to get it. I need to have it and I need to get it. Not only do I need to have it, but I need to decorate it and make it big and beautiful and perfect. So clearly I had to get this. Now this specific milk canister was $19.99 without the 40% off. So. 40% off added to it. I got it for a pretty good price. Um, this thing, you don't have to just put florals in here. There is so much stuff you can do to this, which I will be doing a future video on that. So keep an eye out. It will be coming out soon. Uh, don't want to give all my secrets away just yet. Okay, so moving on from there. Let me move these flowers out of the way. I have something that I've had it for years and I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't remember where it came from. I think me and my husband got it for our wedding, but I have this very beautiful, I think it's gorgeous, but I have this very beautiful cake stand and it, every year it just, it just sits there. It never has anything on it. Now, during the fall, I, I do a lot of baking. <laughs> I typically bake a lot of homemade pumpkin bread because my whole family loves it and it's famous within my family and friends and everybody's always wanting some. So I'm always making pumpkin bread or I'm putting it in muffin form and sometimes I'll put it on here but other than that it never gets used. And even when it comes to Christmas time, sometimes we'll put different cookies or whatever it is that we've been baking, we'll put it in here but I keep telling myself it needs something more. So this year our specific plan is probably going to be to decorate it obviously because you don't want this cake, this beautiful cake stand just sitting there and not getting used. So without further ado, let me show you what I got. These things, I love them. They're perfect. If I can get them out. Okay, so. The very first thing that I'm probably going to put on the cake stand is this beautiful, just simple, small white house. It lights up 
it's made of ceramic it's really pretty and it, it was a really great price $4.99 and of course you get your 40% off on it so I got this for a very good price and it's simple and it's beautiful and personally to me it goes really well with fall Let me show you this one. I died when I saw this. I don't know what it is with me and fall trucks, but look at this thing. Isn't it perfect? It's got the beautiful orange pumpkins, the beautiful sunflower on it, painted really well. Not to mention it was $4.99 and it lights up. This thing is perfect. I have my own small, tiny little boutique, and last year for fall, I all I wanted to do was put this truck, not this one specifically, but put a truck with pumpkins in the back on my shirts. I was addicted last year, so of course when I saw this, I had to have it. Couldn't help myself. Of course, you have to have a pumpkin. It wouldn't be fall if there was not a pumpkin sitting there. So I have this very beautiful pumpkin that also lights up. It's got these cute little leaves right here. It's just perfect. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Um, this one was a little bit more. It was $6.99, but that did not stop me from buying it. I mean, this thing is pretty. They also have this in other colors. So they didn't just have orange. I think they had brown and a light blue possibly I don't remember exactly but it's beautiful I love it let's set them right here okay. moving on I love what I'm about to show you I have an addiction to this I swear. so I have this beautiful little baby girl of mine she's 11 months today which, by the way, there will be a video coming out soon on planning a one-year-old's birthday party and how to get prepared for that. So, and I can't wait for that video. We're addicted to bows in this house. Probably because she's a girl, but we're addicted. So, obviously, I saw this cute fall bow and I had to add it to her thousands of other bows that she has. Couldn't stop myself, which I'm almost certain I think she might already have this bow but I'm not sure. Uh, this bow was $3.49, so really great price with that 40% off. I had to have it, I could not help myself. And of course, I couldn't, I couldn't, I just had to. I just couldn't walk away from this. I saw this last year. I think the design was just a tad bit different last year. I saw it last year and I wanted to get it, but she wasn't eating food yet because my poor baby girl, when I first saw this, she was only, I think, a month old because she was born on August 20th and I saw this during September. So she was only a month old. So um, personally, I didn't see myself using it just yet. So I decided to wait, but of course this year coming across it, I had to have it. And the best part about this is you can use it with your other kids, whether it's a boy or you have a little girl, you can use it with your younger ones or if you're gonna have more kids, it's perfect. So I went ahead and I bought it because this can be passed down from baby to baby and it's gonna get a lot of use. I love it, I think it's beautiful. Now the price for this was $9.99. It's gorgeous, I love it. I couldn't help myself. Okay. Now, Mama has an obsession. Moving on from baby, going to Mama. I have two things that I saw in the fall section that every year I walk by, and I've been so good at just walking by them, not bothering them, not even trying to get one, but I had to have it this year. And if you're thinking I'm talking about scarves, don't get me wrong, I love scarves, but that's not what I'm talking about. I came across these extremely cute socks love I love seasonal socks I don't know what it is with me and socks if you go to my sock store right now and you open it you should see how many seasonal Christmas socks I have and I also have some Halloween ones as well so of course when I came across this I mean hello who can walk past this um the price for these were $3.99 these are cruise socks I love the color I think that's what attracted me to it and the fact that it has tiny little pumpkins on it Obviously, I had to have it. Now these. 
I've always wanted a pair of these. One sock says, if you can read this, and then the second sock says, bring me a pumpkin spice latte. I love all things pumpkin. I don't care what it is. I've loved all things pumpkin since I was a little girl. I've always loved pumpkin pie. It's been like my number one. Okay, hold on. Pecan pie is number one, but my pumpkin pie has been a close second and I can't live without it. I love pumpkin and personally, until I got to college, I thought I was the only one who liked pumpkin. Apparently I'm not, which is great. So if you're a pumpkin lover, welcome to the club. Um, these socks are just cute. They're soft and they're very cozy feeling. And if I'm not mistaken, oh, $4.99. So I got these for a very good price. Now, let me show you probably my most favorite decoration that I came across. And I wasn't even gonna buy it until I heard that my mom and dad was gonna get it. And of course, I had to have it. I couldn't let them have it on their own. I had to have it too because it was the number one thing I saw that I really wanted. Give me one minute. It's going to take me a second to unwrap it. Without breaking it. Oh my goodness, you guys. You have no idea how perfect this is. And especially because this year I'm planning on doing a coffee bar section in my house, which I probably just gave it away. But look at these mugs. Oh my God. Are they not perfect? I had to have them. The sayings. I'll, I'll just tell them to you in case you can't see them, but I'm pretty sure you can. Pumpkin and leaves, family and friends, cinnamon and spice, and obviously everything nice. These cups are amazing. Not only did I get attracted to the sayings, but the colors are beautiful, especially this blue. Now, if there's anything you need to know about me, other than I love Hocus Pocus and all things pumpkin, light blue colors are my absolute favorite. I have them everywhere. So this, I clearly had to have. This was probably my number one thing when walking through the store. I kept going right back to it and going, do I need it? Do I not need it? Do I need it? Because I already have a lot of coffee mugs. Let's be honest here. So yes, I obviously needed a coffee mug. So this thing right here is it's perfect. Now I gotta say, this is probably not gonna be my last Hobby Lobby haul. I will most likely go back and end up buying more items and sharing them with you. If not from Hobby Lobby, it'll be from Michaels or Kirkland's or Marshall's or wherever I get it from. But this stuff is amazing. And I can't tell you, it, like you guys need to go. You need to go and you need to get you something, even if you don't decorate a lot. So if you made it to the end of my video, thank you so much. And obviously, if you liked it, give me a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.